Today I'm going to share some tips on sharing your screen during your BNI online meeting on using Zoom. This is specifically for if you're using a Windows PC. I'm also going to share two quick tips on using PowerPoint and the Canva program for your featured presentation. What you're looking at right now is a mock BNI meeting. Normally you'd be seeing the other members, you'd see yourself, but for this presentation, just imagine this is your regular BNI meeting. Before we get started, one of the most important tips I can share with you is preparation. And by that I mean, you've taken time to put your PowerPoint together or your Canva program together. This is your time to shine for your featured presentation. Take some additional time and prepare for the technology part of presenting. After this video, you should be able to easily share your screen using Zoom. But if you're still slightly uncomfortable, reach out to someone within your BNI that is good at technology, maybe someone in the leadership team, and go through a mock run to make sure it all goes nice and smooth. First thing you wanna do is shut down all non-essential programs. And this is probably a good idea anytime you're in your BNI meeting as well. It's great for being not distracted, but particularly for your feature presentation, shut down everything except for Zoom and for either PowerPoint or if you're using Chrome for, for Canva. Share your screen during the time that you're either being asked the interview questions or someone is talking a little bit about your history or in your biography before your presentation even starts. That gives you just a couple of minutes to have your screen already shared and you're ready to go by the time that person has stopped talking. So let's say now is the time to start sharing your screen. You move your mouse around a little bit and you'll see the share screen button on the bottom of your screen. Click on that and it shows you the available windows on your computer. As I mentioned before, if you'll go ahead and shut down your programs, you won't have to worry about searching for which screens you need. Now, I have two open because we're gonna talk about PowerPoint, we're also gonna talk about using Canva. I'm gonna click on the right side and that is my PowerPoint screen. If you have a video or if you're using sound within your presentation, be sure to click these two boxes here at the bottom, share sound and optimize for video clip. That's gonna give the best experience if you're using video or sound during your presentation. And then you simply click the share button or you can double click on this box here. What you're seeing now is my PowerPoint presentation in the edit mode. However, this is not the view that I want my viewers to see. So what you wanna do is make sure you're sharing in slideshow mode. Go up to the top and you'll notice if you go over, you'll find slideshow and then you can click on play from beginning right here. If you happen to be in the middle of your presentation, you can continue from your, uh, the current slide here. There's also an icon on the very bottom, right down here, tiny, tiny, tiny slideshow. However, the, the easiest and the quickest way to start your slide slideshow within PowerPoint is to click the F5 key on your keyboard. And then you can click anywhere on the screen to advance. Your audience does not see your mouse and they do not see this stop share thing from Zoom on top either. You can also use your keyboard arrows left and right to, to advance or go backwards. We click escape to escape from there. Now I'm gonna click on stop share. And now we're gonna share the other screen and this is the Canva program here. Now, if you're not familiar with Canva, Canva is a program that has a free version and a paid version if you're using more advanced uh, tools in it. And you can design things for social media, a lot of graphic pieces, but they also have a really great slideshow program and they have templates that are already built for you. This happens to be one of their pre-built templates. So if you're using Canva for your presentation, you, can, you don't want people to see this view, just like in PowerPoint. 
you also want them to see a slideshow view and Canva calls it present. It's up and to the right. You click on present. I suggest just using the standards type and click present right there. And this is what your, your audience will see. Again, they won't see your mouse. They won't see this little green button here or this little green icon. Every time you click the screen, it will go to the next window. Or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. And those are some tips on how to share your screen and use PowerPoint and Canva for your featured presentation.